Hi, everyone. It's Sandra Howdy, your WFG Sales and Marketing Executive. I wanted to continue on with shooting these videos, getting little pieces of different classes that Christy has taught or that I have taught that are going to help you with your marketing. I previously sent you one of the tips from the five conversations you should be having to do more business or generate more business from your sphere of influence from a class that Christy teaches. And I wanted to continue on that class and share just a few more tips from that, again, class five conversations you should be having to generate more business from your sphere of influence. Now, if you would like to see this class in its entirety, because we are not going to go through all the slides and have a one-on-one -on -one with Christy or schedule a Zoom class for your team or your office, shoot me a DM, an email, a call, or a text, and we will get that scheduled. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen with you all. And again, we're not going to go through all slides here. I'm just going to go through a few select slides that I think are important. But again, FOMO is real, right? Everyone has the fear of missing out. And Jimmy McCann of Curator came up with a great idea on how you can share information with your sphere of influence so that they don't have FOMO, right? And it's not by doing it in terms of drip campaigns. One, nobody likes to be dripped. Everyone in your past clients, your SOI farms, know when they're getting a generic you know, email or text or voicemail and they delete it, right? Maybe it's a slide broadcast. So do something more individualized and do one-on-one -on -one text. And this is how you can accomplish this. Okay, using your MLS, right? So what I would do if I was an agent is I would go through and do one of these a day to somebody in my SOI list or my past clients list, right? So that it doesn't get too overwhelming. I know that the first thing I do when I get in the morning is I'm going to go and go down my roster of past clients or my SOI and do one at a time, one a day, you know, get their address, search the MLS and see if there is any recent sales and then shoot them this text. This is a text that they created. Hi, Christy. I was in the MLS earlier today and just saw that one, two, three flower street sold in your neighborhood. Did you see the final sales price? Question mark. That's your hook, right? Again, just like I had mentioned earlier, Everyone has FOMO. Everyone has fear of missing out. And they're going to want to know what that final sales price is because they're going to want to know what their home is worth. So now you've just started a conversation with one of your past clients. This is a one-to-one -one market update. It's short. It's personalized. It's digestible. It's something that shouldn't take you very long. So if I was an agent, something I would try implementing into my daily routine. This and video CMAs. If you haven't sat through my video CMA class, let me know. It's fantastic. Another great way to reach out to your past clients and give them a market update on their home, but in a very creative way. Okay, now I'm going to zoom through these slides and jump to slide number 25. Okay, I think this is a phenomenal idea. Something very passive you can do that'll you know keep you top of mind with your past clients and sphere of influence. If you haven't responded to any of your reviews, whether it's on Zillow, on Google, on Facebook, on Yelp, go back and respond to them, right? They'll get a notification saying that you've responded to their review. So express your gratitude to them. It'll bring you up in their inbox or in their text messages, keeping you top of mind. The goal with these is to start conversations. So this gives you some quick bullet points. You know, go take a look at your old Zillow reviews. Thank those plus clients for taking the time to leave you a review. Okay, and next, so this is something that I implement into my daily um, marketing strategy. I do it with my current real estate partners and past real estate partners, and it's something you can easily do with yours as well. But spend five minutes a day and focus on five people a day and use the Ds. Diplomas, diamonds, diapers, daily grind, and death, right? Those are life events that would trigger a need to sell. We all know that um, a bigger family is actually a higher reason more people list and sell to buy a bigger home than actually divorces. But these are all life events that you should be looking for that might trigger a need for someone to buy a property or sell a property and move into a bigger home or a smaller home. There are services you can pay for like Rebo Gateway and our own tool WFG Fetch that take a look at these recorded documents for you, right? You can upload your farm into um, these predictive analytics tools and they will monitor them for these life events. But I've always told everyone, you have the largest free platform in front of you that identifies these life events for you for free as well. 
because everyone's posting on their social media when they're having a baby, when they're getting married, when there's been a loss in the family, and sometimes, yes, even when there's a divorce. So keep a lookout for those life events and then spend five minutes actually sending private messages and commenting. Don't do social drive-bys. Don't just go and like or leave a sad face on these um, comments. Go and actually engage in meaningful conversation. So that's it for today. Three tips on conversations you can be having or three things you can be doing to generate conversations with your past clients and sphere of influence. Again, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or you would like to schedule this entire class with Christy one-on-one, feel free to reach out to me. Until then, um, it's Sandra. If you have any, any other needs, go ahead and give me a call, text, or DM. See you soon. Bye.